Hi there, Toy here, and I know it's been a long time since I shot an update video for my actual reading challenge, but that's what I'm going to do today. So as it turns out, I had two very slow months, the month of May and June, even April was a little slow, but I did do some reading in April. And so this is a video for me trying to just kind of get everything caught up. Let's see what I have. Basically what's happened was I had gotten myself overwhelmed with um, conventions that I was going through. I started a new um, blogging project where I'm a, a blog admin for another blog. Plus, you know, my day job, my writing. Um, I was trying to release a fantasy um, novella, you know, at the end of April and it just didn't kind of work out because I didn't want to shortchange the story. So my focus was on that a little bit. But despite all that, I'm still rolling. So let's get caught up on my reading challenge. In the months of May and June, I did actually read four and a half books and I'll explain the half in just a second. And three of those books were from my original challenge list. So if you're just, you know, um, catching this video, not only did I set, you know, a challenge of so many books to read this year, I had certain books of those that I wanted to read. And so let's see, the reason why I say that I read half a book was because the Griffin series box set was released um, early June, and I've already read the entire Griffin series. I love that book. But when the box set came out, um, I got it and just kind of nostalgic nostalgically went through and um, read some of my favorite parts, whatever, and then I wrote a review for the box set. So I'm not counting that as a whole book um, in my mind. But, you know, Goodreads still counted it. So so just a quick little um, update from the last time I actually did a challenge video. There were a lot of books that I had read and rated, but I hadn't actually written the reviews for. So if you're interested in seeing those reviews, I'll, t I'll remind you what those were because it's been a while. Hurricane Crimes, um, The Mark of Nexus 3 Loyalty. You Are Not Small, uh, the Griffin series coloring book, Honesty, the Mark of Nexus 2.5, and both Psychic Chronicles from the Griffin series. So those were all things that I had already rated and everything that I just hadn't actually left reviews for. So if you're following me on Goodreads, you can go ahead and look at those reviews because they're there now. So what I actually read in the month of May and June were um, Seismic Crimes, which was the second book in the um, Disaster Crime series. Um, the first one I really liked, but I was just so shocked that it was, you know, so short. So I was really excited about the second one, and um, I have rated and reviewed it, so the review is up, and I ended up giving that one a four. And um, it's a really good book. There is some mature content in it, so um, check out the review for that. Um, I also read and reviewed um, My Father Did Not Kill Himself, and I think in a previous video I had mentioned it. Um, I didn't really do like a thorough review, so there is a thorough review of, of that up now. It is contemporary young adult fiction. It's kind of a murder mystery. Um, it's written in an odd format. It looks like um, blog posts, and um, it's, you know, written from these teenagers' points of view. So there's some content in it that's really kind of not going to be for everyone. It was very uncomfortable for me to read, but I am glad that I read it. Um, the next thing that I um, read and reviewed between uh, May and June was a Christian book, Talk Yourself Happy, and this is the story of Christy Watts. She's a formal 700 Club host, and so it's just basically telling her story of kind of her rise and her fall and her bounce back, and I thought it was very um, inspirational without being preachy. I don't read self-help books because I don't like them but I enjoyed her book and I gave her book a five. I also read the second volume of the Outliers of Speculative Fiction. This one was a lot shorter than the first one so I thought that was really disappointing but I tried not to let that affect my um, rating of it because even though it was smaller it was still just as good so um, just like I did when I read the first one I, I gave it a five star because it's a wonderful collection of what I feel like is the best of science fiction, fantasy, you know, the paranormal horror genres, 
Nothing in it is cookie cutter and I think that's what makes it so special. And then of course the Griffin series box set. I skimmed through it and reviewed it between May and June. So I'm currently reading uh, Faith and Fandom. That's a nonfiction book that um, explains how you can find spiritual references in different um, fandoms. And it can be anything. Like the one that I'm reading about has already gone through several different Marvel stories. It's mentioned some movie um, franchises that I like. So I'm going to read that. And then I am reading Secret Garden right now. I read it when I was a kid, but I'm reading it again right now because it's part of a book club. We're doing a study on um, imagery and, um, you know, the wording and things like that. So I'm also reading um, Hero Lost. That is a anthology sponsored by the Insecure Writer Support Group and um, it's it's basically these different stories about what Hero Lost means and there's so many different aspects to that and I'll, I'll maybe talk about it later when I do my review. I'm also trying to read an anthology called Book Dreams and I actually contributed to this anthology and I was able to read, um, you know, a couple of the stories before, our, you know, everything just got kind of sidetracked. So I feel like since I've contributed to it, I should probably read what the other authors have contributed to. So uh, I'll be reading that. I am picking up L.A. Punk Rocker again. I started it and I was really into it. And I just, you know, I got busy. It's a nonfiction um, collection of stories. Um, kind of, It's kind of like a memoir. It's mainly this one person talking about her experiences kind of, you know, coming into her, her own during that age of when Rock was king, you know, and um, it's really interesting. So I'm going to pick that. I'm, I was literally 50% way through it. I just got busy. So I'm going to finish that up and we'll see. I have so many other things that are on the list. Things have come out and I want to add them to my list. So we'll see how that goes. But that is all I have for now. So bye bye for now.